Today, we're setting up an FTP server on Ubuntu from scratch. Let's get started. First, let's check our current working directory. This helps us know where we are in the file system before we begin. Next, we need to create a script file that will handle the FTP server setup. We'll do this using the nano text editor. Now that we have the script file open, we need to add the necessary commands. This script will automate the installation and configuration of our FTP server. First, it installs VSFTPD, which is the software we'll use to run our FTP server. Then, it starts the service and enables it to run automatically when the system boots. To ensure we don't lose our default settings, the script creates a backup of the original configuration file. After that, it sets up a shared FTP directory where users can store and access files. The script then modifies the FTP configuration to allow local users to connect, enable file uploads, and set the shared directory as the root folder for FTP users. It also configures passive mode to allow easier connections from external systems. Once the configuration is complete, the script restarts the VSFTPD service to apply the changes. If you're using a firewall, the script also opens the necessary ports to allow FTP connections. Finally, uh, it prints a success message confirming that the FTP server is set up. After saving this script, we'll need to make it executable and run it to complete the installation. Now let's check if our script file has execute permissions. We can do this by using the ls-l command. If the file does not have execute permissions, we need to grant them using chmod plus x setup ftp.sh. After setting the permissions, we verify that the execute flag has been applied by running ls-l again. With the correct permissions in place, we execute the setup ftp.sh script to start the FTP server setup. The installation process should complete quickly. Once the setup is finished, we navigate to the root directory and then into the slash sar folder, where we can see the FTP shared directory that we created earlier. This is the shared folder where users will be able to upload and download files. To test file transfers, we create a simple text file using nanotest.txt and add some content to it. After saving the file, we use FTP from a different machine to retrieve this file. Next, we add a new user named Schofield to the system, who will be able to connect to the FTP server. Before proceeding with the connection, we need to find the server's IP address, which we can check using IPA or hostname I. Now from another computer on the same local network, we initiate an FTP session and connect using the Schofield user. After successfully logging in, we use the get test.txt command to download the file. Finally, we locate and open test.txt on the second computer to confirm that the file transfer was successful. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.